This article is exclusive from the Daily Mail. It's called Johnny Depp is staying alone in a 2000 a night suite and going to bed by 11 p.m. while Amber Heard hits the town with her squad during blockbuster libel trial. So what's the lesson to learn here? What I've been saying all along, Amber's acting kind of childish, putting on some kind of front that everything's cool, she could go out and have fun, and Johnny's acting like, well, an adult. Let's just put it like that. Johnny Depp has been locked away in a plush hotel suite, dining alone while his ex-wife Amber Heard has been enjoying London nightlife with a powerful posse of women who are supporting her through the high-profile libel trial currently taking place. Then they go on to say about how Johnny Depp is suing the Sun that they say in every single article. So we're moving on. Since going into the witness box on Tuesday, Depp has been returning from court alone and heading straight to his 2000 per night luxury hotel suite. He has been ordering room service which he eats alone while watching television and goes to bed by 11 p.m. so that he is fresh for the next day. Rules prevent Depp from discussing the case with anybody while he is giving evidence and the Hollywood actor has been forced to remain silent and aloof of everybody he knows for fear that he may accidentally discuss his claim against the son. Heard, on the other hand, has been partying with a fellowship of glamorous women dubbed Team Heard. <laughs> Team Heard. It's like Team Lannister here. Team Heard. Who are rallying around her for the trial, making grand entrances each morning for the start of the proceedings and organizing a string of social outings. All right, so I guess Johnny has to be somewhat isolated, but my point remains, I'm not changing my stance. You know, Amber Heard could just act more adult-like. They're kind of like flaunting themselves. In one of those pictures there, her lawyer was wearing kind of this tight like dress. It wasn't like a suit. It wasn't like very professional. It was kind of sensual, and to me, just the feeling of this group is not very reliable. They don't seem like people that you'd trust to take your dog for a walk or watch your kid or something. Last night, Heard and some of her team were seen at Oswald's, a plush Mayfair drinking club, and tea over the next few days, their itinerary includes dinners, shopping trips, and visits to other exclusive drinking dens. Is that what they say in the UK? Drinking dens? Okay. We say clubs here in Japan. I mean, you guys from the US say clubs. We say clubs in Japan. I guess if it's called the drinking den in the UK, that's cool. So, all right. She's on, like, the trial of her life, and she's just going out drinking. Cool. Like, awesome. A source told Mail online, the trial has been quite a contrasting experience for both of them. While Johnny has been alone and looking quite miserable, Amber appears to be having a great time. She looks really glamorous and happy, as if she's on a girl's holiday. The women she's with have really got behind her. They're strong, positive women who are delighted with the way things have gone in court so far. They've already had a few minor victories and are optimistic that they're going to have more and are determined to have a good time while they are in London. They kind of repeat themselves here about Depp and how he can't discuss the case. Then they move on to say, Depp has not even called his beloved children for fear that the case might crop up in the conversation. He is expected to be in the witness box until tomorrow. And the source continues here, it's quite challenging giving evidence for so long and this is probably the closest he's come to clean living for a long time. Depp is even avoiding his American lawyer and confidant Adam Waldman in case they accidentally discuss the trial. The two men are staying in the same hotel but have not exchanged a single word since Depp took the stand. Team Heard is made up of her sister Whitney, girlfriend Bianca Booty, buddy Booty whatever, American attorney Elaine Brentoff and Heard's assistant Sarah whose last name is not known. Okay, that's cool. Some pronunciation I can't fuck up. Heard was photographed leaving Oswald's where bottles of wine cost hundreds of pounds just after 1.40 a.m. with her sister Whitney and other friends. Depp's ex-wife waved as she left the venue which is owned by millionaire Robin Burley and I guess she's probably going to try to, I don't know, hang out with that guy too. While Whitney, who is to give evidence during the trial, was photographed wearing a blue jumpsuit. 
all of Team Herd, except for Miss Robinson, who lives in London, are staying in a plush hotel not far from where Depp is also temporarily based. The women have lined up a number of social outings over the next few days, including dinners, shopping trips, and visits to private members' clubs. Once Heard starts to give evidence, which is expected to be late next week, she will have to restrict her communication with her team and curtail socializing with them. And I hope when that happens, I am not busy because I'm expecting to have some serious things to say and we're going to get some serious news at that point. Hopefully, she'll make a few mistakes and going by her track record, I think she probably will make a few mistakes. So we could look forward to and hope that Team Amber makes some silly mistakes. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. It's about 2 a.m. right now, so I'm not doing a shout out. I apologize. If you're not subscribed, consider it. If you subscribe, you'll get videos kind of like this one. If you don't subscribe, well, I'll be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.